Well, hello there, and welcome to Mr. C's presentation on multiplication and division. If you didn't already know it, they're pretty much the same thing. What? They're pretty much the same thing? Yeah, multiplication and division are pretty much the same thing. Uh, and we're going to talk about how that is and why that is today. We're not going to get too deep into division. We're not going to go crazy with it. Okay, because I know you're spending a lot of time working on your multiplication tables, at least you should be. Okay, um, and I'm going to show you how while you're working on your multiplication tables, you're learning division at the same time. Okay, so go ahead, ask it, come on, bring it on. Why is this important? Well, there's one basic reason that I'm going to give you. You're spending so much time learning this stuff. Make division easy, right? You're spending, I hope, hours memorizing your multiplication tables you're also learning division so when you're done and you know all these multiplication facts from 1 to 12 you're gonna know a lot of division facts as well let me show you why you ready all right let's do this let's take a look all right we're gonna take a look we're gonna start out with a multiplication problem six times five okay now if you remember from my previous lesson when you see this time symbol, what words should you be thinking in your head? Six groups of five, okay, or five groups of six. It doesn't matter one way or the other, they're the same. So let's go ahead and get an answer for this really quick. Six groups of five, here's one group of five. One, two, three, four, five. We've gotta do five more groups. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay, so now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six groups of five. So if you need to count them up, you can. If you if you know skip counting, it's much easier. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the answer to six times five is 30. Okay, you already know that. You already know why that is. Okay, but you may not know 30 divided by five. All right, I'm gonna enlarge my head for a second because I don't want you looking at any of this other stuff. And I'm gonna talk to you face to face about some of the words that we're gonna be discussing in the next couple of minutes. Ready? Hey, okay. So when you see or when you think of the word divided, I want you to think of cutting things up into groups, okay? Now, do you remember multiplication? Do you remember how we were taking groups and putting them together, okay? Well now, with division, we're taking a really big number and we're breaking it up into the smaller groups. So really we're doing the opposite of multiplication. Let me shrink my head and show you what that means. Ready? Okay, so do you remember how six groups of five was 30? Well, now we're going to take 30, right? And we're going to cut it up into five groups. Okay, so let's say you had four friends, right? And your mom made you 30 cupcakes. And you were like, guys, this is going to be the best slumber party ever. My mom made 30 cupcakes, okay? And then your buddy like is like, well, how much do we each get? Okay, well, what's, what's, a, what's a visual way to break that up into groups? Okay, ready? Let's, I'm going to do this. Hopefully this isn't confusing for you. So here's one buddy, right? Here's his pile of cupcakes. Here's your pile of cupcakes. Here's your other buddy. Here's another buddy down here. And here's another buddy over here, right? So let's pretend you're, making, you're separating these cupcakes into piles. Okay, so then really you can just count them off till you get to 30. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're halfway there. Ooh, if you know anything about uh, math here, you might be able to already get an answer, but let's do it the hard way still. We're at fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, I know this is tedious, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. That's all of our cupcakes. So how much 
do each of your friends and yourself have? Well, count it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. You each get six cupcakes. Do you see something? Look at this multiplication problem up here. What do you see down here that may ring some bells? Whoa, six groups of five is 30. 30 cut into five groups is six. It's the same numbers. Look, six times five, 30. There's the six, there's the five. It's just this time, the six is the answer. So really, we're doing the opposite. Look, if you mashed all these groups together, how much would you have? 30. Well, duh, that's how many cupcakes we started out with. Oh, so it's just like mashing up groups up here? Yes, it's very similar. Okay, I want to go ahead and do one more. We're going to do the opposite one, the other one. Let's say you have another buddy this time, and your mom made 30 cupcakes, but all of a sudden, you know, your, your other buddy shows up. Oh, I could make it. Oh, well, now we have to cut these cupcakes into six groups. Well, would the answer be the same? No, you have another buddy over here, right? He's like dying for cupcakes. He's going, please, don't forget about me. Okay, so if you cut it up, this time, if we did it into six groups, I'm not going to do it all out like I did before, how much would each person get? Well, take a guess. Look at what we had up here. Okay, six times five is 30. Well, 30 divided by five is six. What do you think 30 divided by six would be, or 30 cut up into six groups? Did you say five? Because that's the answer. Whoa, Mr. C just blew our minds. Do you see how you learned, ready? One multiplication problem, six times five is 30. Which, hey, you already know another multiplication problem because five times six is 30. Remember, forward and backwards, they're the same. Okay, well, look down here. You learned two division problems as well. 30 cut up into five groups is six, and 30 cut up into six groups is five. So, hopefully this will give you some perspective while you're studying your multiplication problems and you go, now, you know, this is twice as valuable now because not only am I learning multiplication problems, I'm learning division problems too, okay? Hopefully this was meaningful for you. Um, we're going to go back over really quick a couple of things that we learned. First, if you know how to multiply, then you know how to divide, right? You just work the opposite way. Okay, if you know the answer to a multiplication problem, well, then you know the answer to two division problems, okay? Uh, and memorizing multiplication facts is super important. It is so important, all right? If you're kind of lagging behind or not putting a lot of effort into memorizing these single digit and easy double digit multiplication problems, you're doing yourself a disservice. That means, you know, that really stinks uh, because if you learn these things, math is going to get easier for you. Trust me, it may be hard now, but it'll get easier in the future. Okay, so we're going to do what we always do at the end. Let's try this. Okay, I want you to use your knowledge of multiplication because you've been studying this stuff. So, you know, some multiplication facts, right? I want you to use your knowledge of multiplication to solve these four division problems. What's 24 divided by four? Ooh. Four times what is 24? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, how about 45 divided by 9? Hmm, 9 times what is 45? Okay, and then here's the last two. 18 divided by 3, and finally 32 divided by 8. Okay, maybe this was a little confusing for you. Feel free to back it up and check it out again. I hope this helps you understand the importance, 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 importance of memorizing these facts. Okay, good luck. Keep working.